So today is part of our Buzz Feel Great Month, and we are talking resolutions. In fact, I'll bet you 50 bucks you can't go the whole year without making fun of us. Uh, you know what? Better get a week. I'll take that bet, my friend. And you know what? Paying me the 50 bucks can be the new thing you do that day. <laughs> and it starts right now. Ah, oh, yes, those pesky resolutions. Why are they so hard to stick to? Well, apparently the key to keeping your resolutions is to trick your brain. And here to talk more about how to do that is author of the book, The Resiliency Revolution, Your Stress Solution for Life 60 Seconds at a Time. Jenny Evans is here with us, author of this fantastic book. Thanks for being with us. You're welcome. So tell us, uh, in this book, you talk about a really interesting concept. You say that we actually have two brains, the caveman brain and the modern brain. So explain that for us. Okay. Two words why you can't keep your resolution mm -hmm. is sneaky Pete. This is what oh. I refer to as your caveman brain. Okay. And your caveman brain is still a big part of how we make decisions. It's all about survival. It's very instinctive, reactive, mm -hmm. emotional. And then we have our advanced brain that's the long-term planner that says, you know, I really should exercise today. I should really eat clean. I should go to bed on more time. more sensible one. Totally, yes. but Sneaky Pete, um, he always overrides advanced brain when we're stressed out. And the thing is, a lot of times when we're trying to make change, that creates stress in our lives. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as we're stressed out, Sneaky Pete comes online and is like, I got a better idea. That sneaky Pete always gets me eating those cookies. So give us some tips then on how can we stick to those resolutions? What do we do? Yeah, okay. So advanced brain is all about like self-discipline and willpower. But like I said, sneaky Pete hijacks that. So instead of saying like, I just have to oh, buckle down and just make change. What we can do is create an environment of what I call optimal defaults, mm -hmm. where you're actually just making good choices based on an environment that you create. So for an example, um, if you switch from a 12 inch dinner plate down to a 10 inch dinner plate, you will unconsciously eat 22% less food just by changing that plate wow, size. Wow, that's impressive. Sneaky Pete doesn't know that you're eating less food because it looks like it's the same amount of, of food. Of course, I love that tip. Where can people find more information on this book and you? Because these are some great tips. Yeah, so my website is um, ph-performance.com. It's also okay. on amazon.com. But end result of the book really is that you can build your resiliency to stress. So recover more quickly and mm -hmm. more efficiently raise your threshold and it's really about the fact that stress is not just something that happens in your head it's a chemical event that radically shifts your chemistry and physiology and the book tells you how to correct that wonderful wise words that way you can feel a little less guilty and know totally. that there's a lot more going on there well thanks again for all this yeah. great stuff